Hi, my name is Siobhan and I'm a scientist at Zimmer and Peacock. Today we're going to be doing a demo experiment for our lactate generation 2 sensor. So for this experiment um, there can be two types, there can be a drop test and a beaker test and today we're going to be doing a drop test experiment. For this experiment you'll need a ZP lactate generation 2 sensor, you'll also need a beaker with 10 millilitres of PBS, you'll need 0.5 molars of lactic acid and in PBS and that is made using L-lactic acid from Sigma. Um, you will need an SPE connector which is connected via crocodile clips to a ZP Anapot and you'll also need to run this on a software so we're using PS Trace. So first I'm going to immerse um, the sensor in the PBS. So I will push this down. It's important to have all three electrodes immersed into the PBS as well. And it's important also for, the ex for this experiment to use lactic acid and not sodium lactate, otherwise it won't work. So we're ready to start our experiment now. And before we press play, we're going to go over the um, settings for our experiment. So the technique we're going to be using is chronoamperometry. The current range we're running at will be from one nanoamp to 10 microamps, but our starting range is at one microamp. The equilibration time is zero seconds and the potential we're going to be running at is zero volts because it's a generation two sensor, so no voltage will be applied. The interval time is 0 0.5 seconds and the running time is 1,300 seconds. But for the sake of time, we're going to apply our titrations once the curve has stabilized at 500 seconds. So now we're ready to start and so I'll just press play. And as you can see, a basic chronoamperometric curve is starting to form. And because it's a generation two sensor, it is going to be starting from the negative current. Yeah. And we wait 500 seconds now for this. Now we'll get ready to apply titrations um, of 20 microliters. So we're almost at 500 seconds. So I'll apply it now. And as you can see, there was a step at 500 seconds, which was our first titration. So yeah, as you can see from the graph, there was a step down and you will apply these titrations every 100 seconds um, to get your calibration of your lactate generation two sensor. So now we have applied the titration four times and now the experiment is complete. So as you can see on this graph, the first titration was applied at 500 seconds and there was a step down and this was repeated four times, as you can see here. Okay. Thank you for watching and if you have any questions, you can get in contact with us. Bye.